last episode we saw how to make a simple recycler view so this is the recycler view and this was the code this is the adapter code well uh, in this uh, tutorial i will show you how to delete an item of a recycler view how to add a new item and also how to handle the on key returns uh, so earlier in list view uh, we had the method like this one So earlier when we used to uh, this view, so that time this method was just set on item key listener. But unfortunately, recycler view doesn't contain this method. So what we need to do is we need to go to the my adapter class. So this is my my adapter class. So here uh, in this on bind view holder, I have to type holder dot item view. So this item view object is this row. This entire row, and now we have to pass set on click listener. So now you can uh, show any data. Well, uh, let's run it. Suppose you click the item on first position, zero, second position, one, two. Uh, here in a home activity class, we can see that uh, there are 50 items. So basically, it will show 49. Yeah, 49. So what we did, we created the on click listener on this my adapter class. Suppose now we need to uh, use this on click method on this home class where we are setting this recycler view and adapter. So, what do we do now? So, there is an alternative way for that. We can uh, set some interface methods. So, I will show you that. First of all, uh, create a new interface class. Let me name as uh, on my adapter item click listener. So this won't be this class, this will be the interface. So any class which extends this on my adapter item click listener interface, they have to, actually they must uh, uh, Im implement the uh, methods that will be inside this class. So void on item click listener. So we'll pass the position here. Okay. So in this my adapter class, we will implement this on my adapter item click listener. So here we can write and in the constructor we will pass another parameter as on my adapter click listener. So we need to make this equals. So now in this holder dot item view dot set on click listener method, we have to handle the on click methods. So we can remove this one, and here we have to write on my adapter item click listener dot on item click listener. With uh, on item let it rename as on item clicked. Then it will be more valuable name on item picked so here we have to pass the position 
okay so our adapter site uh, coding is done now let's go to home class see here uh, we are missing one parameter and this parameter is this on my adapter item click this now so similarly here uh, we need to write new on my adapter click item click listener we can see uh, we have implemented this on item click method that we have uh, implemented in this interface class so now we can write uh, write the code here So you can see that our coding is done in our home class, not in my adapter class. Just in my adapter, we are uh, setting this on item click method. So now if we run it, we'll still get the same value. Of course, our this uh, line is same. Zero, one, forty-nine yeah well uh, so i've sh shown you how to use an uh, interface class in adapter and recycler view and also how to uh, handle the on click method well now i'll show you how to uh, add data or delete data so i will uh, make some more interface classes on my adapter i can <coughs> sorry should I have some figure void on my item edit in first well uh, we don't need uh, add adding listener actually we will need delete listener because adding can be done from home ac home activity so we'll just rename it to on uh, my adapter item so not this one this one item delete listener on my item delete it so now we can uh, implement that interface here similarly here and now uh, okay so Let's do one thing uh, when we de uh, click a row, the row will be deleted. Let's do this simple thing. So, here on this on click method, we will write on my adapter item delete listener on item deleted. And now it will show an error here. I have to cut this, then new on my adapter item delete listener. Wait. Okay, I take this listener and also here one new on my item. Okay, so actually this will won't work now because we are uh, just passing this one on my adapter item delete listener. So we'll be using this one. So here when uh, the user clicks a row, the row will be deleted. So first of all, uh, we'll make some clear list because we don't know how much uh, which is which row and it seems puzzled so list dot add it list dot add okay so now here what we have to do we have to remove the data from list and that is the pause pause is the position we have to remove the data on that exact position from the list and then we have to call 
adapter dot notify data set changed so now if you run it well so this is our new recycler view so if we click uh, suppose we click 5 see it got deleted 7 0 32 okay let's delete, uh, delete all the data oh it's working yeah see it all got deleted so no data left yeah and now what can we do what can we do well uh, um, but let me think what can we do okay so in the next tutorial i'll show you how to add uh, the grid layout manager and the stegart layout manager i'll show you in on net now but i will show you how to implement the code later fucking net so this type of layout is called grid layout so simply uh, here we are using uh, you can see set layout manager here we are using new linear layout manager if we put uh, here grid layout manager so our view will be like this and similarly you can see in the grid layout manager the height and width are matched properly but in stegar uh, stegar layout manager uh, it will be like this one like this you can see this one wait yeah see this column is uh, grid layout manager but this one is a stegar layout manager actually it depends on the each block how much the, uh, their height and weight is okay so goodbye now